Damn, we need to move. Here we are again. So myself, Gaz, TJ and Lee, we're currently en route to the eastern edge of Ukraine where we're going to get some vital supplies to some animals that are starving to death in recently um, deoccupied villages. However, it's still an incredibly dangerous location, dangerous areas, constant bombardment. Uh, constant shellings from the Russians because obviously the Russians don't like that they've lost that ground. So we set off early this afternoon after we had our usual brief. We loaded the wagon with all the food, medical supplies, breakdown kit, and then all of our personal kit. And we stepped off on a two and a half thousand kilometer drive round trip. That's not including the amount of time that we spent out on the ground driving. Um, obviously to the villages and to the locations in order to drop off the supplies that we do. We're stopping short because it's around about 14 hour drive so we're going to stop off in a few hours time. We're going to get a couple of hours sleep and then we're going to drive to the final location where we're going to meet with our escort and then we're going to start going around and getting this vital supplies from the So it's currently 2 a.m. and we've just pulled over the side of the road, nice little lay-by where we're gonna get a couple of hours sleep. As you can see, we've got the old sleeping bags on the go in the car. Go is there, he's already asleep. Doesn't take him too long to uh, start catching those Z's at his age. As soon as he's said it's a pillar, that's him. He's done, he's out. So a few hours sleep, back up at 5 a.m ready to get back on the road and get some much needed food and supplies to uh, animals in need. Right. Enjoy, good night. There we go, that's better. Morning everyone, so that's us. Had a couple of hours sleep, it's now quarter past five in the morning and final three hours of the drive until um, we go meet our contact and uh, yeah, start getting the supplies in. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. He's not much of a morning person, I Gary. <laughs> However, it's up, right, straight on. I uh, stay driving straight to task. So yeah, sun's rising. Hopefully, have some nice weather and have a safe day. So that's us now about 20 minutes away from the location where we're going to meet our escort. Our escort is a lady called Natalia who lives in the area. However, before we can move forward, when we get to this location, we've got to get our vehicle into a mechanic. We've managed to locate a mechanic through our contact so that we can get it in, get it looked at, and hopefully get it sorted and then push on. If not, it will be a one vehicle move going into the villages. We'll just have to shuttle in and out, and keep loading up the vehicle up and delivering the supplies and then coming back. So that's us now, we met our escort um, and obviously we're not going to show you more to them for obvious reasons. And we're just on our way, we're going to deliver supplies into Backlot which is an incredibly dangerous area. So we're going to get in there, drop off the supplies and then get out. All bar free. No, uh, free. Only free. Yeah. Which is Every other house has been here. Yeah. They don't yeah, quite yeah. This entire town. Just destruction, absolutely everywhere. So that's us now in one of the villages where we're dropping off supplies. As you can see directly behind me, we've got an absolutely destroyed civilian building. And that's not unique, that's everywhere. Every single building pretty much in this town has been absolutely smashed. This is a town 
its occupancy has gone down to 1,400 people. There's no electricity, there's absolutely nothing. Um, humanitarian aid and animal aid is absolutely vital so you can get it into these places for the people that are unable to move so that animals and people don't starve to death. for a drop off, we just dropped off in a couple of places. There's a lot of bombs going off, and creeping in, getting, getting closer and closer and closer. And as you'll be able to see from the footage, you know, the dogs are absolutely, the cats are absolutely terrified of it. Um, I was obviously stroking one, and as soon as the round landed, that was it, the dog just bolted, he was per, uh, petrified and so it's, it's heartbreaking to watch and heartbreaking to see, but we need to get as, as much food in, as I keep saying it, as we possibly can. Food, food, food in places like this, the animals don't start to them because there are thousands of them in need. Puppy. There's a cat. 